Hi everyone, Forrest here with Honey Pots. Uh, it's winter, it's uh, cold out, and I'm in Zone 5, the Mitten State. I was on the phone last night with a friend of mine, and she asked me, you know, what do you do out there, or up there, uh, in the winter besides shovel snow all winter long? Um, believe it or not, I find that uh, Michiganders are a lot more active in the winter than Southerners are. I do, sorry. Um, but I do a lot, you know, girl, of course, what do I do? I shop. So, and I do, and I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff I got here in a minute. Um, first off, get your garden journal in order. And like, now's a good time to buy things like this because nobody's going back to school. They want to get rid of these things. Um, also, right after school starts is a good time to get one of these um, um, school books. I started new tabs on it since I showed it to you guys last time. I'm always adding to this or writing things down. It's a good place just to be able to cram all your notes and stuff, put your calendar in, um, and have it on hand. I have it with me all the time. Um, and last night I started up a dream list uh, for plants that I want to get that are indoor and outdoor. I also wanted to um, get some seeds, some unusual or rare seeds, um, things like that that I want to start. And also I want to start up, um, I wrote down gardens that I wanted to start as well, different types of beds in my landscape. Um, as some of you know, um, I keep bees and so I'm really big on the pollinators so I started some milkweed and um, have a, a uh, way station for monarchs. I wanted to make another one with just the milkweed in it, different types of milkweed just for the monarchs and get those started. I had collected some swamp milkweed last year and so I can get that started with my winter sowing seeds this year. So, I mean, just sitting and dreaming about stuff, that could take me all winter long. Um, read. Read books. Oh, my gosh. All right, let me put... I'm just going to toss this on the ground. Get ready for a funk. Okay. You know, um, like I said, I'm a beekeeper, so... And I'm new to it. I want to learn everything about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and read books about keeping bees. And I'm going to learn about mites and... Uh, wax moss and wasp, which are all detrimental to a weak hive. Um, the other thing, the other person I love to read, and I know, you know, I'm not your atypical garden book person, but most of the information that you can find um, factual-wise about uh, gardens is through your county extension office. And on the website, I mean, if you want to know when to plant your radishes, just put when to plant your radishes, zone5.edu. And that will give you one of the colleges, especially in your area. If you know of a college in your area, like here is MSU, they have a big agricultural um, extension service there that can help you out. Um, but I go to MSU a lot if I have a question about something. That way I know I'm getting something um, that is backed by science. I hate to use that word because I am not a big science type of person. I mean, I crush eggshells, you know, and they're like, what? That's kind of silly. Just go buy some of this. But um, I'm also a frugal gardener. Um, the other person I love to read is Tasha Tudor. Um, I got this for Christmas one year, and I read it cover to cover in one day. It's beautiful. I mean, she's beautiful inside and out. It's just gorgeous. She's an amazing person. This is, like, my most favorite picture. Look at her garden. Is that not insane? So, um, but I go through there, and that's where I find those unusual plants that I want to start from seed. Or I want to mimic something she's done just because I fangirl her and worship her. Um, she's no longer alive, but she has left an incredible legacy, not only of her gardens, but how she lived her life and some of her children's books and especially her art. I do have a piece of her art. It is a print, though, but I have one. Um, 
The other thing is watch videos. Uh, go on YouTube. There are a lot of people out there who make amazing videos that can help you with your garden. Um, that, I, I mean, like um, Roots and Refuge. She is so adorable and she's out there in her garden walking you around, talking about things, things that she's tried, things that didn't work. And she's so real because, you know, it's not like picture perfect like you're in some sort of botanical garden somewhere and I really appreciate that about her not that her garden isn't gorgeously beautiful and I'm drooling over it and how big it is and how many varieties she can do um, but I've learned a lot from her and I've also um, like there's these melons she grows and she had noodle beans and I was like oh I want noodle beans so I'm growing that's on my list are the noodle beans um, also, uh, Michigan Gardener, um, he has quite a lot of videos. He puts two videos out a week. They're really good to watch. A lot of information. He'll go into detail about a plant and show you all the way through um, it growing and producing. Um, really good to watch. The other person um, that I watch a lot of is Susan Weed. Um, she's an herbalist and she, I mean, what a great name for what she does. It's kind of like me in forest, you know, um, she'll go out and collect roots and make tinctures, um, out of them and things with different medicinal purposes. And I've learned a lot from her and I'll be trying some of her concoctions and start, uh, incorporating them instead of, um, some of the juices that I drink to um, some of the uh, products that she makes and it's so easy I mean don't think it's hard she's great to watch um, her videos are really short so they you know a couple seconds and you know how to chop chop up a dandelion root cram it in a jar and put some vodka on it you know and she's done and she does it with her cute little granddaughter so can't say enough nice things about her um, clean and sharpen your tools. Get those things clean and ready for next spring because you're going to want to be out on the garden. You're not going to want to be sitting around the shed cleaning your tools or sharpening them or wish they were sharper and trying to suffer through them in the spring. Uh, clean your pots. Um, if you've um, got a lot of pots on your shelf that you've just taken the plants out of, get a big tub of hot water, a little bit of bleach in it, and clean those pots up so they're ready for next year and you're not carrying over any type of disease or pathogen um, that you're not going to want in your garden. You know, stop it there. Um, force bulbs, you know. We did that in a video before. Here's my paper whites. They're getting bigger. See? Woo um, and they're great because during the winter month they're going to bloom. They're going to make you feel good. Uh, other things to do, um, get your, your soils ready to start your seeds with, you know, check, see, do you have vermiculite or perlite? Um, I use vermiculite, um, it's, it's a lot finer than perlite is. I mean, if you have bigger seeds, you could try using the perlite, but I've always used vermiculite. Um, I'm an organic gardener, so I'm not going to want to use a seed starter that they're putting in any chemicals or um, why they put in fertilizer, I don't know, because within a seed, that seed has everything that that plant needs to live before it gets its first real leaves on it. So all that's just going to wash through and you're not going to use it anyway. So I just start with vermiculite. Um, do what's best for you. Do what's going to get you out there and gardening. That's what's most important um, and taking care of the earth. Um, also, uh, get your soil tested. Um, I've been trying to do that lately, but um, it's been very wet here. It hasn't been snowy, but we've had a very wet fall and a wet winter this year and trying to get out and do anything, and it's been oddly warm. So we still have leaves on the ground that we weren't able to get to because on the days that um, it wasn't raining, it was soaking wet or it was super duper windy out you know there was always something and I still have leaves on my maple tree which kind of bothers me a bit I'm a little worried about it but I think it's gonna be okay it's big and beautiful um, the other thing is um, plan your garden you know get your um, 
paper out and plan out your flower beds, where you're going to want them at. Um, do it in pencil because I'm always erasing. Um, and I'll go over my garden plan with you in another video so you guys can see what I do and how I do it. Um, so that's a fun thing to do. I mean, all these things to me are fun. Uh, start your wish list that I talked about. Um, go through your seeds. Divide up your seeds. Um, some of those packets open and they get in the bottom of a, a dish. You know, for me, it's like, I don't even know what that is. Let's plant it and see what it is. Um, so go through your seeds. Get those. See what you've got. Um, I also start sharing my seeds about this time with my friends. It's uh, because I've got so many of them, especially when I collect them, like... I really want to put more milkweed out there for the butterflies. Um, the other thing is um, get prepare like I winter so, and I need milk jugs and any clear type of bottle with juice or soda. I make sure I get the word out there now that I need those at work, and people will leave them on the counter for me. Um, and I can get those cut and holes drilled in the bottom. So when I'm ready to plant my seeds, I don't have to deal with the pots too. They're ready for me and they get in the way. So I have like a basement area full of milk jugs and um, clear containers. Uh, but I do appreciate them very much. Um, so prepare those. And shopping, now is the time to shop. Seriously, it's winter out nobody's thinking of pots and they're going to be clearanced out for next year's pots to come in um gardening shoes look what i got ah, online nine bucks they're really cute um so go ahead and, and go online that's where i got those at was online i found those and um i like gardening shoes um i like to have several different pair i also like to have the boots for when I'm doing really icky work or I'm working back in the compost bin area. I have three compost piles, not really a bin, but three compost piles and it can get kind of dirty back there. So I like to put my uh, wellies on. Um, aprons. I found some really cute aprons on Itsy um, that are really sturdy and she's got little loops you can hook your uh, clippers in and stuff and you kind of like to have those things um, on you i also like to shop on um i don't know if they call it etsy or itsy who cares um because i'm supporting another person who's trying to work from their home um and you can get some really neat unusual things that you're not going to find anywhere um, but I'll find her and I'll link her down at the bottom. Um, I'll also try and set up some links for the people that I watch their videos of. Um, tools. Tools might be on sale. They might want to bring out a different handle color or something. So they'll clearance out some of the tools and not carry them over for next year. Um, that's kind of a eh, hit or miss thing. But um, a lot of times you'll find some tools that are on sale. Especially like power tools. Um, if you need like a blower or something like that, that'll be, um, this will be a good time to get it because you're not competing with someone. Like I have a, uh, leaf vacuum that mulches. I, I'm not going to buy that in the fall when I'm competing with other people who want to buy it. I'm going to pay top dollar for it. But when I'm buying it off season, I'm going to get it for a lot cheaper. Um, and gloves, you know, I have like a ton of gloves and I still can't find a pair of gloves when I go out to garden, but I keep them, I'm trying to get a little bit more organized with that stuff. And I have like a tote that I carry around with me. All right. So don't forget to like, and subscribe. I've got to head out the door now. Um, do Write some stuff down in the comments if you want to know more about something or you've got an idea for a video that you want me to do. Love to do it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.